you've traveled in France as much as I have, you'll probably have noticed that there are a lot of places called St. Martin. So I decided to do a little bit of research about why. And what I learned was that there are over 4,000 villages and 3,700 churches in France alone named after St. Martin. And his cult extends widely in Europe, including Portugal, Spain, Italy, Germany, Belgium, the United Kingdom, and beyond. So in order to find out a little bit more about why St. Martin and why here in Provence, I went about checking manuscripts and local archives and visiting small Alpine villages above Nice. And here's what I found. St. Martin of Tours is the patron saint of France, according to popular Catholic tradition. And he was honored as far back as the kings of the Merovingian and Carolingian dynasties. A protector of dangerous mountain passes, founder of monasteries, healer, builder of churches, and an icon of charity, he's feasted on the Christian calendar on November 11th. In fact, St. Martin's feast was a key moment on the medieval calendar. Before World War I, St. Martin's Day marked a period when the price of rents were fixed and when the last harvest, sausage, and salted fish were sold for winter consumption. Pigs were released in the forest to feed on acorns, and Sagittarius was believed to influence human agency. These practices at the outset of winter suggest that St. Martin has a calendar role in the popular tradition, marking a transitional period of the economic and religious cycle. He is often associated with other November saints, including St. Catherine on November 25th, St. Clement on November 23rd, St. Cecilia on November 22nd, and St. Andre on November 30th. According to his biographer, Gregory of Tours, Martin was a soldier before becoming a bishop. Famous for sharing his cloak with a poor man as the winter days drew near in the year 334, he became the Bishop of Tours, known for his humility and charity. In statues, paintings, and frescoes, St. Martin is easily recognizable, straddling a horse, body forward, yet reaching backward to offer his cape as protection. Claude Guénubet, one of France's eminent specialists of folklore, once said to me that he interpreted these images of Martin as the very representation of the division in time, with St. Martin's feast serving as the separation of summer and winter. The Church of St. Martin in the small medieval village of Thierry dating from the 11th century, was renovated under the Dukes of Savoy. The altarpiece features St. Martin between St. John the Baptist, feasted on June 21st or June 24th, and St. John the Evangelist, feasted on December 21st. Here was a stunning representation of three key Christian calendar figures. St. Martin with each patron saint of a solstice at his sides. What better evidence could be found to demonstrate the incredible importance of St. Martin to the logic of the Christian calendar? In a nearby mountain village called Maswan, there is a 17th century Baroque church named after St. Martin. It was originally on a medieval foundation. The main altarpiece also features St. Martin, this time with St. John the Baptist, probably the most important local saint from the High Middle Ages to the present day. Another panel represents St. Martin, leading souls from purgatory to paradise. The tiny scrolls in this painting of the main altarpiece are the words and plain chant lyrics for masses remembering the dead. The entire church captures the liturgical and life cycle governed by St. Martin.
and his intercession, particularly in the mountain context, as he was a protector of valleys and dangerous mountain passes. The history of the eastern part of Provence is partially explained by its geographic particularity. Isolated by mountains, but ensuring commercial passage of salt and wood through valleys and rivers, Provence is a natural geographic border between regional languages and cultures, with the towns of St. Martin of Entrone and St. Martin of Vesuby serving as key military fronts for the warring states of the Dukes of Savoy, the Grimaldi, and the Kingdom of France. A 17th century map reveals just how popular St. Martin was to Provence under the reign of the Dukes of Savoy. Major villages having a St. Martin church are all outlined in red and may not even be exhaustive. Martin of Tours founded the first monasteries in France, and the Alpin churches in tuet sur Thierry, and St. Martin of Vesuby refer to St. Honoratus, a local monk of the High Middle Ages. Dating from 1649, the altarpiece in tuet sur features St. Stephen, St. Martin, St. Honoratus, and St. Sebastian. St. Honoratus was also the founder of the Laurence Monastery off the coast of Caen. Other artifacts in the churches bear witness to the impact of many ecclesiastical orders, including the Templars, the Franciscans, Jesuits, Benedictines, and Dominicans. Regional devotion to St. Ruck, St. Sebastian, St. Michael, John the Baptist, Mary Magdalene, and St. Rita remind us of the frequent incident of plague in earlier times, but they also suggest that the long-term influence over the region was made by the monks, priests, and bishops who evangelized these areas, uniting what was divided by the competing states of France, Savoy, and Piedmont Sardinia. One of the local Nice treasures located in the Franciscan Monastery in Nice dates from 1475. It's a Pieta, the Virgin carrying her crucified son, and it is the first known painting of the famous regional artist Louis Brea, commissioned by Martin de Rolla. On the left panel, you can see Saint Martin, who is also the patron saint of the sponsor. And on the right panel, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, celebrated on November 25th, recognizable by her wheel of torture. She's the patron saint of all corporations using machines involving wheels, and also young girls who are to be married. In this classic representation of Saint Martin, he extends his charity to a cripple with his leg in a cast and carrying a crutch. The regional art history expert, Germaine Leclerc, has explained that the poor man suffers from the sickness once called the fire of Saint Anthony, which bedeviled Europeans until at least the 18th century, when it was discovered that a form of poisonous barley was the cause of this painful and incurable disease. So why Martin and why here? I think it's probably because we're in a place where several cultures came into contact over the course of the Middle Ages and modern times. To the north, the French, the Swiss, the Dukes of Savoy, and all of those political forces that occupied these places in the High Middle Ages. I think it also has to do with the influence of the Italians, obviously, the French, and most importantly, the monks who came to these places to evangelize and who brought with them the inspiration of the seer, the mystic, and the awakened Saint Martin. Strange because he read alone. 
fifteen he was versed in stars and knew a hundred mountain trails at twenty he spoke foreign tongues and charted ancient sails but Oh